Hi, this is Kevin with KTM GM owner, Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to listen to Gather in the Magic, so supporting the Buzz Crew while making 10 or more dollars a day playing misplay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so today is April 7th, 2024. It's been two weeks uh, since our last market watch. So we're going to look at token prices. We're going to look at vouchers. We're going to look at packs, uh, cards, singles, gold foils, and to see how the market has changed in the last two weeks. Uh, we're going to start with SPS. So as you guys know, um, SPS has been uh, trending lower uh, along with a lot of the other assets. Um, SPS two weeks ago was at uh, two point, basically 2.1 cents. Uh, now currently we're at 1.7 cents. Uh, vouchers have also trended lower. Uh, we went from just under 4 cents to about 3.5 cents. Uh, the amount of vouchers that we have in circulation over the last two weeks has gone from uh, 12 point to almost 12 and a half million to 12 million 723,000. So we've gained a uh, quarter of a million vouchers in the last two weeks, gaining just under 18,000 a day. printing 40,000 a day, so that means currently we're burning over half of the vouchers uh, that's being released every day, so that's pretty uh, positive. Looking towards the future as we get more voucher burns uh, going, uh, people start burning uh, more and more for energy. Uh, when the next phase of land comes out, you know, if there's a voucher burn for that, uh, this number might actually start trending lower um, every week. So. That is the vouchers. I'm going to SPS Burnt in the last two weeks. Um, <laughs> we went from 57 million burnt to almost 58 and a half million. Um, so we burned 1.3 million over the last uh, 14 days. So it comes out to just under 100,000 SPS that's getting burnt every day. And then uh, a new number that I'm going to start tracking too is just the total supply. Like what is the maximum amount of SPS that is available uh, once it is all released? Um, the beginning cap was three billion, so now we're at uh, two billion eight hundred seventy-eight million. So we're going to start tracking that from now on. Um, next is packs. So the pack prices there really hasn't been a whole lot of change for any of the packs. Um, a lot of them have drifted just slightly lower. Uh, the one point that I want to point out is for Chaos Legion. Chaos Legion continues to fall down to 65 cents for a pack. So are we going to hit 50 cents for Chaos Legion packs? Do you think that's uh, likely? I wonder if like in the next week we start getting into, you know, like 58, 55 cents. So at some point, this is going to start trending up. I keep thinking, you know, when it hits 70 cents, that's an awesome deal. Uh, now we're at 65 cents. Um, later on, we'll look at Chaos Legion packs and look at those card prices, especially the gold foils. And um, you can see that 65 cents may be um, a really good deal based on the gold foil prices. Um, so as far as packs, um, how many packs were opened over the last two weeks? Uh, if you notice our alpha packs, None were open the last two weeks. Um, still 4,307 packs. Uh, beta, I think the previous uh, two weeks, there was a couple hundred packs open. Um, 58 packs were open over the last two weeks. The one number I'm curious on is Untamed. Uh, when I That's checked the data from Peak excuse. Monsters, I don't know if packs came from like some other chain or what else, uh, wherever they came from, but the, the supply actually went up by 257 packs. Um, but we're still right around 45,000 uh, untamed packs that are currently uh, left in existence unopened. Um, dice, only 27 packs were open for that. No orb packs. Uh, Chaos Legion actually has kind of slowed down for a while. We were opening, you know, 40,000, 50,000 packs every two weeks. 
Um, over the last two weeks, only about 10,500 have been opened. So fewer people are opening uh, Chaos Legion packs. Uh, Rift Watchers, over the last two weeks, uh, we've gone down um, about 2,000 packs have been opened there. So we're down to only 127,000 Rift Watcher packs. And Rebellion, uh, you can see the pack prices dropped from 387 to 325. Uh, we sold an additional 16,447 packs over the last two weeks. So a little over 1,100, just under 1,200 packs a day. So uh, the previous two weeks, it was right around 1,500. So Rebellion has slowed down even more. So I'm wondering, you know, two week, in the next two weeks, are we going to get to about 1,000 a day? But overall, pack sales have been pretty soft, as long, you know, along with the rest of the, uh, the market in Splinterlands. Okay, so now let's look at sets, and we're going to start with alpha. Um, alpha prices, as you look at right here, the screen just for um, just overall how it's done the last two weeks, pretty consistently. Um, but let's take a look at the page because I want to have this as a record um, just for future use so we can see the price and we can also see the quantity and the quantity available. So we're going to scroll through these um, for each set, just like I said, to just kind of keep a record for future reference. So here are the commons, ranging from 45 cents from the Skeleton Assassin. Uh, most expensive, I believe this was the same price before. Flesh Golem for $3.88. We'll move on to the rares. And this is just for the core set. Uh, Twisted Jester is the cheapest at $1.27. You can see the quantities available for sale here. And most expensive card continues to be uh, Ulrich at just under $10. For your epics, you're looking at just under $4 for the Fire Demon, up to $8.22 for the Air Elemental. And your legendary cards, uh, $38 for Selenia Sky, and $100 for the Chromatic Dragon. So now let's look at the gold foils. So your cheapest gold foil, um, just under $23 for Rexy. And most expensive is $123 for the Silver Shield Knight. Now you'll notice it says result 17. There are 20 different comments in the site. So three of the comments are just in the top a copy available for sale. And if you look at some of these numbers, other than Rexy, where there's seven copies, all of these are four or less. So even for commons, very, very low liquidity. Oh, there's five for Divine Healer. But very low quantity, even for commons and beta for gold foil. Uh, moving on to rares. Once again, there's 20 rares in the set. There's only six gold foils available on uh, the market. Uh, $98.99 for the Frozen Soldier. $500 for Tyrus. Moving to Epics, um, Epics, there's only three available. Screaming Banshee for just under $2.90, Serpent of the Flame for $4.99, and Naga Warrior for $6.99. And Gold Foil Legendaries, just one copy, Lord of Darkness for $37.40. So to see how that compares to the previous weeks, you can see here not a lot of change in uh, the base prices uh, for the Gold Foils. Pretty much the same. Um, one of the epics went down from 1750 to 699. Uh, the Lord of Darkness two weeks ago was the only copy as well. Um, two weeks ago they were asking 5240. Now it's 3740. And now looking at the promo cards. For the promo cards, Dragon Whelp is 18. Neb is $59, Royal Dragon Archer is $74.99, and Shin Lo, the legendary, $3,613.50. So you can see the prices pretty much the same from two weeks ago. And then for the gold foil promos, there's only two. So the epic and the legendary, there's none. The common, surprisingly, they're asking $2,849. And the rare, they're asking 98. So those are the promo prices. Okay, so let's move on to beta. Look at regular, common. 
So for beta, looking at the core and reward cards, uh, the prices for the commons have actually dipped. Um, two weeks ago, the cheapest common for beta was 14 cents. Sometimes there's no volume control, so you just got to watch the watch the video till the X comes up. But anyway, any every second I'm playing that game, I get points and then the points you can buy gift cards like Amazon, uh, PayPal. I usually use PayPal. I just send it to my PayPal account from there. I can send it to my bank account. I can send it to my. Uh, Hive Engine, I can send it to the Coinbase, I can send it wherever I want. Now it's dipped down to six. Uh, the rare prices have come down a little bit for the low end, as long along with the legendaries too, or the uh, epics. Whoop. <laughs> Hold on. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to do that. Let me finish this part of the game. I'll open it back up. Okay. Uh, two weeks ago, the cheapest epic was over two dollars. We'll see now; the cheapest epic is a dollar. Um, so the low end of some of the beta cards has dropped. So let's take a look at these, just so we have a record of the cards, the quantity, and how many are available on the market at this time. Some great beta cards here. So your most expensive uh, beta common is the Divine Healer at eighty-two cents. Let's look at the rares. Now, what I like to do here on misplay. By the way, Gather the Magic is talking about a game called Splinterlands that is on the Hive Engine. Um, it's a Web3 game, so you can build equity in the game. You can play to earn, earn to play. But I'm at 357 points. I got five extra there. But see, I'm almost a fourth level. Now, you see how that's faster? There's three circles filled. I'll play the fourth level and I'll quit because then the amount of time... Now, this is a fun game. I might keep this one for a while. But um, when you on the faster is how many points you earn and how fast. I'm getting 60 points every level. And when I, when I just started this, I made 60 points. And then I'm going to make 60 points here in a few, probably about another two, three minutes. So if you play steady for about an hour, maybe two, you can squeeze out close to $10, maybe, maybe not. Is that great money? No, I'm not saying it is. What I'm saying is if you multitask and you're doing it anyway, why not get paid to do it? And, and this is a way to do it. The links are below for all these games, Splinterlands, Misplay, um, but you got to play the game through misplay. The way that you do that is you download the misplay app, go through my link. I'll get credit for it. You click on the misplay. It opens up. It's got all the games. It, it, you got to download the game inside the misplay app so that the API can give you credit for playing the time. I've been using misplay for a very long time. It always pays out. It's never not paid out. And as much as I play, the most I've ever made in a day was 40 bucks. I did, uh, Four ten dollar payouts. So let's get let's go see, let's go finish this fourth level so I can then go on to another game. So your cheapest rare is the pirate archer at thirty cents. But some games pay out like a hundred and eighty. Start getting into summoners at and, and especially the lower level. Dollar eighteen for tyrus. And if it's got all the circles filled, they're the fastest paying ones and the highest paying ones. So you don't want to spend a lot of time on a low paying game unless and you're just a join. Look at this. 
a beta Ulrich, they're asking 1038. The alpha was under 10. These cards are so, so low. To right me, now. that's kind of backwards. The alpha should be more expensive than, Buy than low, the beta. Sell so high, is the beta right? a little bit overpriced or is the alpha underpriced? Let's move on to the epics for beta. So as you can see, the cheapest one is Manticore at a dollar for an uh, epic card from beta. And we move on up to the most expensive is Swamp Thing, uh, $9.50. And then finally, your legendaries. Anyway, I've got to go. $9.80 so for you get Spirit the idea. Minor. And I'll be watching other YouTube videos. If you haven't already, go like and subscribe to Gather in the Magic. Up to up to the content most expensive is Baltimore at $149. Which is a lot of the games uh, Prince on Prince Renan is $64. And, um, Crip Mancer, like subscribe to my channel. Spirit of the Forest, $49.50. And I'll, have, I'll show you other little Selenia tips Sky, and secrets on a way to make money online. Plato, $45. Peak Rider. Uh, I'll show you other secrets that I do to make passive money on income. And you can pick and choose which one you want to keep and add it yourself type thing. But uh, Web3 Gaming is the future, guys. It's where the, the companies will... Be paying you. You can build equity in the games. There's and they're getting more inventive every day, especially with the NFT smart contracts. Okay, thank you for watching. I know your time's invaluable. Have a nice day.